In this video, I'm going to share a few different tips to help speed up Premiere Pro when you're editing. This is going to lead to less crashes and less freezing. So let's get into it. So the first tip is to make sure that your paused and playback resolution are both set to quarter. If you have them set to full, which is this, as you'll see, the video will play. But after a few seconds, it will start to glitch and it will start to, as you can see, it's going to start to drop frames and it's just going to start to glitch and it's not going to look pretty. And if you've got a lot going on in your edit, that's going to get very annoying very quickly. So you want to make sure to go into your settings icon over here. Go to playback resolution and change this from full to quarter. Then you want to go into the settings again, pause resolution quarter. Now when we play this back, it's going to play back much smoother and it's not going to drop as many frames as it would have done if it was playing in full resolution. Tip number two is to clean your media cache. Now Premiere stores these cache media files and this is basically just a log of your audio files and that basically means when it's playing back the footage, it doesn't have to render out the audio every time it's playing the footage. It can just store these cache media files and that's going to make playback much quicker. The problem is though when you've been editing for a while and you've got multiple different projects on the go, this can take up a lot of room and if you've never cleaned your cached media files then you're probably going to notice that 60, 70, 80 or even over 100 gigabytes worth of your hard drive space is taken up by these invisible cached media files. So what I like to do is regularly, maybe once a week or so, go into the Premiere Pro tab up here. We'll go to Preferences, Media Cache. I believe if you're on Windows, you find the Preferences window under Edit, not under the Premiere Pro icon. But moving on, you'll find this menu here. This is Preferences, Media Cache Files, and then you've got Location. This is the location of all of these ghost cached media files. And you can just put remove media cache files, delete, delete unused media cache files and press OK. Once you've done that, just restart Premiere, restart your computer, check your hard drive space and you'll probably notice that you've just acquired a good chunk of your hard drive space back. And that is going to increase your performance of your computer, which will increase the performance of your edit. Tip number three is to not stack videos on top of each other inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It doesn't matter if you're playing back in quarter resolution or if you've got loads of hard drive space. If you're stacking multiple video clips, especially if they're high resolution clips, they're just going to cause Premiere to stutter along. So as you can see, there are seven video clips on the timeline and Premiere Pro is going to struggle to play back all seven of these at the same time, especially if we're in a higher resolution. So if you need your footage stacked on multiple different levels, let's say you're editing a music video and you've got a layer for each performance track, then what I would advise doing is choosing the best takes and then just cutting out every other take that isn't on screen at that moment. So let's say during this little window here, we're only using that top clip. So all of these clips below these can go. That means at this time, only this one clip is playing. Now the next clip, let's say we're going to use this one. We'll cut everything at the point there we want to end the clip and then we'll get rid of all of the other media. So you've still got all of your footage on their own layers, but instead of playing multiple clips at once, Premiere is only having to play one clip at a time. And that is going to make your editing process much smoother and your video will play back in real time. And then last but not least, we have the option to create proxies. So proxies are a little bit complicated and I'll do a full video on them another day. But basically a proxy file is a low version render of your video clip. So instead of editing with your high quality footage, you render out a low quality proxy file and edit with the low quality version instead. And then when it comes to exporting, you swap those out for the high quality footage instead of the proxy. This means you're editing with low quality footage, but exporting with your high quality footage. So there's many different ways of creating proxies, but the way that I typically do this, and this is just a very quick summary, you select all of your footage. So select all of the footage that you're going to be editing, right click, we'll go proxy, create proxies. We'll do a preset of a H.264. The preset can be H.264 low resolution proxy. You want to put that next to the original media in a proxy folder, or you can go ahead and select a new destination and create a designated proxy folder. So we'll put that in the desktop. We'll go new folder, proxies, create, select folder. We'll press OK. And then Premiere is just going to go ahead and create some proxies. So as you can see, media encoder is loading. 
And there you go, you can see Premiere has thrown that footage over into Adobe Media Encoder and Media Encoder is now creating those proxy files. If we go into our finder, this is our folder, as you can see, we've got these H.264 proxy files and these are gonna be much smaller than the original red raw files or whatever files you're working with. And then once you've created those proxy files, you just import those into Premiere and edit using those proxy files. And then when it comes to exporting, you just swap back your proxy files to your high quality files and continue the export process as normal. It's a much easier and much quicker way of editing your videos. It does require a little bit of work upfront because you're having to render out all of these proxy files. And if you've got a large project, then that is going to take some time, but it is going to save you stress and headaches later on down the line. And it's going to prevent that jittering, freezing Premiere Pro issue down the line. So there you go. Those are my four tips on how you can speed up Adobe Premiere Pro when you're editing videos. I hope this helped. And if it did, then please do consider pressing that subscribe button. See you on the next video.